Hello, I'm back for another tutorial. Um, this time, uh, enough people asked for it, so I am going to try to teach you uh, Willie's song by Raylan Baxter. Um, so I'll try and follow the same format uh, as my last video. Um, you know, kind of explain what video I watched to learn it. Uh, I'll kind of try and break down um, the various parts that I see the song breaking into, um, any differences from how I played it to how he plays it. Um, and then I'll try and go into each part um, and, uh, and break it down, um, you know, with more specific notes and nuances, stuff like that. So, um, you know, we'll do my best. I think this one might be a little bit harder to convey just because basically the entire song is dependent on um, an individual's finger picking ability. Um, and so, you know, the chords are easy, the notes are pretty easy, but, um, you know, it does require, uh, you know, some nuance as far as your ability to do finger picking. So, um, if you're familiar with that, great. This will probably not be too hard for you. Um, if you've never done finger, finger picking before, um, this could certainly be a challenge. So, um, again, the chords uh, are easy. The notes are pretty easy. There's some cool nuance to how he plays it. Um, and we'll get into that, but um, yeah, you know, uh, second tutorial, so cut me some slack if it's not great, um, but really bottom line, uh, you know, hopefully this helps you learn the song. So um, I watched a lot of uh, this version of the song um, from the live and breathing uh, performance that he does. Uh, I will add a link to that video down below in the description wanted to do that. YouTubers do that. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, I watched a lot of that video and, um, you know, uh, there's actually, upon kind of second viewing, going back and looking at it now, I do have a slightly different finger picking pattern in my video versus his. Um, and so I will try to teach you exactly how he plays it in his video, which will sound a little bit different um, than the version I did. And I will try and show you the difference that I'm talking about there. Um, but you know, you're here to learn how he plays it, not me. So I will try to do that. Um, but yeah, um, I have the capo on the fourth fret. He has the capo on the fourth fret in that specific video. I feel like I've seen other videos of him playing it where it's on the third fret. So I think it kind of just depends how you're feeling and what your, uh, vocal register is. But, um, yeah, we'll do it exactly how he does it. Uh, in that video, uh, he adds in a couple like interesting licks and nuances to it that, I probably won't go into all the detail on this. Um, you know, if you have questions about like how he does one specific thing in it, you know, feel free to ask and I can try to explain that to you if you have questions, but I'll try and stick to like the relative basics because I think it's taken a pretty big bite of the apple. Um, if you don't really know finger picking that well uh, to learn the song. So I will just, um, I'll try and stick to like the basic parts and how to play it um, because you can, really get in the weeds and it could take a lot longer to uh, record this video and tutorial. But yeah, feel free to send me questions if you know there's specific parts that you don't understand. Um, cool, so I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna play it first how I played it in the cover that I did, which turns out is slightly wrong, but that's okay. Um, and then I'll play it exactly how he plays it uh, finger, pick, finger picking pattern wise. And then I'll try and point out the difference and then we'll go into the song. So this is, basically the pattern that I used when I recorded it. Now this is how he plays it in his video. And what you'll notice there is the way I did, I started each sequence of finger picking with kind of two notes at the same time. So, two, two. Whereas he does a little bit more of a um, rolling finger picking pattern, which is what I will try and teach you uh, today. So this is how the small nuance and is that how he does it. So he just doesn't stop and do those. Um, 
little double stops. So anyways, that's just a small difference between the video that I recorded and the video that uh, I cited down below in the more information section. Um, but anyways, uh, so uh, let's, let's dive into it. So basically the intro um, that he plays and then goes into the whistling part is the same as the verse. So we can knock out both of those essentially in one go. Um, and uh, the chords, and, and again, I'll probably use the, or I'm going to use the exact same system as my last video. So um, I'll just be, you know, referring to like a C chord shape as if this capo wasn't there. Cause obviously the capo there, this isn't technically a C, but you know, you'll know what I mean by like the, the hand position for a chord. So like C, uh, D, G, uh, E, A. So like, anyways, just so you understand kind of how I'm uh, referencing the chords here. Uh, so yeah, so I'll play through it once. Um, and again, this is the same essential uh, guitar part for the intro as it is for the verse. Here you go. So what you'll just see there is essentially he goes uh, C, A minor, E, G, and then C, A minor, uh, E, and then he just holds it there for the last two bars of, um, of the verse and, and intro. So um, just like a small little nuance, again, not crazy hard chords, but that is, uh, you know, the, the small nuance in terms of like the two kind of sections of the intro and verse. Um, and so... For the finger picking pattern, um, what you're going to be doing, and this is the the names of the strings. Um, so you're going to be going uh, A D uh, A B D G. So A B D G A B D G, uh, and then the next is uh, you do that four times, and then the next is uh, E. Uh, sorry, let me just. So that's the second set of chords with same, you're picking the same string. So it's uh, A, B, D, G. And then he switches it to uh, e, D, e, B, D, G. So. So he kind of leaves out um, your uh, A string uh, on that second finger picking pattern and kind of goes, dances around it. You can add it at the end. I, I like to hammer on. Um, the second fret on the A at the end of it. So it sounds like this. Um, but that's essentially it. So it's uh, it's the C, A minor, E, G, C, A minor, E, C, A minor, E. Um, and he follows that pattern, uh, again, for both the intro and the verse. So it sounds like this. Um, and then moving into the chorus, um, what we're doing there is, so it's the same, um, relatively same like rolling finger, finger picking pattern. And then instead uh, of starting on a C, he starts on an F and then goes to a uh, C and then he goes F, C, G. So it'll sound like this. Um, So let's try that again, a little bit slower. Um, so C, F, C to a G. And when I say G, I'm really only playing the bottom two notes. Um, so the three on the low E and the two on the A. Um, so you don't have to do, it's not like that. He's just basically, 
keeping the rest of the strings open so you don't have to worry about like the high the high strings and I mean that should make sense as far as like the finger picking pattern goes since he's um, doesn't hit that high E until the uh, kind of like middle bridge that we're about to get to but um, I'll play it one more time kind of slow um, and yeah hopefully this will help you um, so I guess maybe I'll do one uh, of the verse into the chorus. You can kind of like see how that, that feels, so. that part next but um that's basically uh the chorus so there might be one little nuance at the end there where i think he goes uh f to c and then uh f to c to g f and then he goes right to g and that's like the last phrasing of um of the chorus um and so that's basically it. And then there is, the, the next part has a little bit of nuance um, because uh, basically after he plays the chorus, he goes back to the same uh, riff lick as the intro verse, but he adds uh, the high E, he alternates the high E with his finger picking. So it, it gives it a nice, um, you know, differentiation from the first part of the song from the verse It just, gives it a nice nice color to it. So um, I'll play like kind of the end of uh, the chorus into kind of this like bridge portion, we'll call it. Um, and, uh, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about and hopefully I don't screw it up. Um, here we go. Right to the G. So I don't know if you saw that, but so basically it's um it's the A B D G uh, as far as the the strings he's he's strumming the finger picking pattern. Uh, so it starts off A B D G. But on the second one, he goes, so oh, A, B, D, G, A, B, uh, <laughs> D, G, and he, it's hard, too hard for me to remember the names of the strings while I'm doing that, but I'm gonna go really slow. Um, so you'll see hopefully exactly uh, what my right hand is doing in the, in the, the uh, strings that I'm uh, picking. So uh, I'll do that very slowly now. Um, so you hopefully can see kind of the nuance there uh, because my brain can't work as fast as my fingers sometimes. Uh, so yeah, and again, bad at music theory, keep that in mind. Learn that someday. Um, but yeah, so here's, here it is really slow. And if you can, it sounds really nice if you can um, let this uh, high E ring out whenever you hit it. Um, I think, you know, uh, if, if you're kind of like, you hit it, but then you like mute it by accident with your left hand or whatever, um, it just loses like a little bit of its uh, shimmer, its, its you know, inf uh, impact power. Um, so um, if you can, uh, really try and keep that you know left hand out of the way so that when you're hitting that E it, it resonates throughout the rest of the finger pecking pattern because I think it sounds really nice if you do that. And I mean you 
don't know if you noticed, but I accidentally hit it with my one of my finger picking uh, fingers on that, and it kind of mutes it. And you can kind of tell, like it just doesn't quite sound as uh, as pretty when you can't let that uh, high E ring out. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that's basically the whole song. Um, it's really just those three parts. Um, one thing I did kind of figure out. Uh, going back and listening to it again is the way that I kind of play the very, very end of the song in my version is not exactly how he plays it. Um, probably somewhat influenced by the fact that my finger picking pattern was a little bit different uh, and maybe just a little bit of laziness by me. Uh, but um, I figured out exactly how he kind of does his outro. So I'll try and play that now in case you want to also kind of, uh, you know, nail that very very end section and play it kind of very closely um to how he plays it uh so this is this is how he does the outro in that video um that i referenced the live and, and breathing version <laughs> got there eventually it's hard when you're not playing it but um so he basically ends with a steps up an e um and then uh second so it's basically um it's like e uh, uh second fret on your low e to just open strings to like a that's sus g and then he goes uh, to the high E, uh, th uh, third fret, first fret, open, uh, to the B, uh, back to the E, to a C. I'll try and do that one more time slowly because again, um, my fingers are smarter than my brain sometimes. So hopefully if I just play it slowly, that'll help you uh, hear it better than me trying to talk over it. Let's try that one more time. And there you go. That is my somewhat rushed uh, attempt at trying to uh, teach you guys this song. So I um, hope this helps. Um, I'm sure there's stuff that I goofed up, so I'm sorry for that. But um, that's like kind of the framework of the song. So if you're trying to learn, uh, Willie's Song by Reelan Baxter, which is a fantastic song, um, very beautiful. Uh, that is how you do it. Um, and yeah, you'll have to go somewhere else for a whistling tutorial because that is, I don't know, you can either just whistle or you can't, but um, hopefully you can. Hopefully you can uh, finger pick a, a little bit and uh, yeah, hopefully this video helps you learn the song. So that's it. Um, and I will have more music up on the channel soon. Um, got some originals. Got a cover uh, by Charlie Crockett, who is awesome. If you haven't listened to any of his music, so go check that out. But anyways, thanks again. Um, hope this helps. All right, later.